Welcome back to the program. Joining me now is Edward Haddock. He is the director of the Arkansas Operations for the Small Business Administration. Thanks for being here, Edward. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Ruben. Right, good. You and I have been on the stage a time or two. I haven't had you on the set, though, since you've been in this role. Well, so I appreciate the, the board, invite. So. Absolutely. Uh, we were talking in the earlier block in the show about uh, tax cuts and their impact on the economy. Um, what do you see in the data? Has it led to small business creation? You know, so right now we are seeing a trend upward in small business starts throughout Arkansas. That's still uh, offset by almost as many closures. We're about 120 to, to 220 positive starts per year just uh, in this fiscal year currently. It's not really transcending. It's not really making it to the small businesses just yet. I think it's going to take a little bit more time to really affect our small businesses yeah, across the state. It is a six-month window. It does take a little bit more for a small business to get out the ground. But, Absolutely. Uh, what about in existing businesses do you think it's leaded, led to some improving health we have seen some some more expansion we're, we're, we're seeing an uptick in, in our loan volume and also our, our lenders getting on board uh, so if it's not just uh, immediately seen in those small businesses we are seeing it in the ecosystem of small business creation and sustainment uh, just I guess one more question from the sure. previous block too we talked about tariffs in the earlier block as well what are you seeing in terms of that impact has it been something that's been sudden do you think this is something that is extended and we haven't really seen implications one way or the other yet. I think we're just starting to see the beginnings of those uh, impacts. I think um, really until we get a little further down and, and see how the implications are going to affect our small businesses, we're still waiting right now. Um, we're hearing some initial um, murmurs from our small business community about the impacts, uh, but nothing uh, completely negative just yet. Mm -hmm. And we know that has to do a lot with the, the political climate sure. as well. Sure. No, so. absolutely. Um, so you've got to you kind of got a new organizational team on hand here. <laughs> you're, you're relatively new to the uh, to the position, but you've also got some other folks on staff. What uh, I guess what, what's been your biggest challenge right now in trying to get uh, SBA out there, and you're rebranding at the same time nationally. So uh, absolutely. So. Uh, Obviously, we had a new administrator come on board uh, with this uh, Trump administration. So uh, since then, you know, we had an initial year hiring freeze that we had to kind of wade through in order to start uh, getting some talent on board. Since then, we've turned over the entire team. And I think, uh, you know, our first to do is to get out and to understand, uh, introduce our team to the Arkansas small businesses and really understand what's at the heartbeat and the pulse of these small businesses throughout our state. And we know that predominantly Arkansas as a rural community, so we want to get out into those rural areas, and we're doing that with a rural outreach tour that kicked off last week. Mm -hmm. And how long will it go on? It will go on for another two months, uh, and in those two months we have 25 destinations, 25 city destinations uh, throughout the state, and really trying to do some town halls, some meet and greets, and understand what the challenges to our small businesses are, and really the opportunities within those small communities to integrate some supply chains and to maximize our value in either federal government contracting, lending, or counseling and training for our small businesses. I think you see this probably in the activity that comes through your office. I know you see it in the census data that comes uh, through uh, all of our different portals here. We have haves and have nots in Arkansas. Absolutely. The, when you look at the overall Arkansas economy, things are doing extremely well. You can really pinpoint some bigger urban areas where a lot of that is happening, some larger metro areas and some regional spaces where that is. But by and large, I mean, two thirds of Arkansas, I could argue, is in the have not category. Absolutely. And those are those rural places that you're talking about. What's it going to take to turn that around? Uh, well, I a, think small business is at the heart of that. They, they are. And I think once we, we have to understand the value that the small businesses uh, play in our communities. And uh, generally, uh, we've seen an attraction economy, uh, an attract and incentivized type of economic development strategy. And until we move away from that for our smaller towns, most of these towns I visit with, they're never going to get a major manufacturing plant. Um, the likelihood of that is just very low. So until they can grab uh, their own destiny and use small businesses in order to create that vibrancy in their downtowns and their economies, they're really always going to be relying on that either economic development agency uh, to, to really incentivize and attract these companies out there. So we know it's a it's grassroots effort that we're going to have to get into. I mean, right now, uh, one in 10 are Kansans is un or underbanked. Um, they're not even engaged in the traditional banking system. So we've got a, a fringe economy, the gray economy that's operating 
it's, it's increasingly minority supported, mm -hmm. uh, and those economies aren't necessarily uh, resourced as well as they could be. So we've got a focus to increase activity in those. We've rolled out a new program nationally called Lender Match, and it's a great opportunity for our rural communities to get online and get into national banking systems and SBA lenders that aren't only community banks here in Arkansas. So they're able to take on more risk, and they have different industry expertise so we can get more deals through mm -hmm. through an online platform. Increasing competitiveness and access for our rural entrepreneurs is going to be a component of that as we move forward. Now, well, our two next guests, one deals with historic preservation, the other deals with tourism, and those are two areas where I think these uh, rural areas could actually find some economic synergy. Absolutely. I think as we see business models um, developing and morphing forward, you know, we talk about Uber, the biggest car company, taxi company that owns zero vehicles, Airbnbs. I think our towns have a, a lot of uh, space to be creative and develop the future of what they want to be. All right. He's Edward Haddock. Haddock, he's the director of Arkansas's operations for the Small Business Administration. Good to see you. Thank you, Roby. All right. When we come back, two officials are here, Kane Webb and Mark Chris, to talk to me about the past, present, and future of Arkansas Tourism and Heritage. Stick around. <music> 